Hi, my name is Christina Polzine, and I'm a Canadian Business Development Manager for Hummingbird Technologies. I'm going to just spend a couple minutes to show a few of our product offerings in our platform and how that may relate back to variable rate technologies. So in our platform, um, we'll have our seasons and our fields, and we can sort by um, specific fields that we might be interested in. So I'm going to bring to one field that I want to source for um, specific information. So as I scrolled through, I was interested in a date, say June 25th, where canola is just coming into um, early flowering. I can compare that to another snapshot in time um, just to identify any other variability. So right now I have it selected for NDVI or a normalized uh, different vegetation index. And this just gives us an idea of how healthy or unhealthy certain plants are within the field um, or highlighting differences in biomass that exist within the field. So typically when we see values, you know, 0 0.8 and higher, that's a very good indication of a fairly healthy stand, healthy canopy. And where we start seeing values that drop below 0 0.3 is a good indication that we've got some poor production or thinner areas um, and, or areas that are um, of attention um, and um, of interest to us. Um, another interesting feature within the platform is the photographic imagery. And this just highlights um, where we can see where the crop is at stage wise. So here we can see changes already from canola in that kind of early um, budding to uh, full flowering. So once we find a map that we're interested in, in terms of looking at more um, variability and we want to create a variable rate application plan, we go to the bottom tab here. And this will bring us to a panel with some other um, options. So in this menu, we've got an opportunity to do some nitrogen applications through variable rate, variable rate seeding, variable rate fungicide, and variable rate desiccation. So for this specific example, I was interested in doing a fungicide map. Um, if we've done previous fungicide maps or other plans in the system, it will save them. Um, so we can view current plans or we can create a new plan. So in this one, I'm going to create a new plan. So once we're in the system, we can um, input our rates. And this is where we should be consulting with an agronomist um, to make sure that we're applying um, the products um, properly under the recommended rates as outlined through PMRA recommendations um, and just to make sure that um, product applications align with where we want to um, put them in the specific zones as well. So in this specific example, um, I'm just doing an on and off map. Um, I've applied my uh, fungicide uh, product rate. And so here I've got the same max and min rate. Um, I've applied it at 15 gallons of water. I've got two bands to reflect my on and off, and I'm going to use high resolution contours just to make sure I highlight um, and get a lot of data points to build that map. The NDVI threshold allows us the ability to manipulate the map to kind of set where our maximum points are going to be, as well as to kind of set a, a shut off point um, where we don't want any product applied. So once we're happy with that, we can select next. So once we get to our fungicide plan preview, um, if we're happy with how the product um, map is built, we can preview it to, ver to kind of double check. Um, we can fine tune what the values look like. Um, we can reset rates um, or we can save the map. This will bring us to a fungicide plan preview. And in this, we can see the total amount of product applied. Um, and total application information as well. If we're happy with this, we can send to a partner like my John Deere, or we can download it to a, um, a specific equipment list or use a generic file, for example. And the last piece that I wanna show you is our benchmarking tool, where we can look at specific fields um, in our, on our farm, um, you know, identify them by crop, for example, um, and kind of look specifically at different variability that exists um, within um, those crops and those uh, on those fields. So we can compare you know, multiple fields if we're interested um, and have a look and see how they're performing. 
um, we can change the um, this, the actual uh, satellite imagery that we're looking at. Um, but I think what's interesting is to track and see how those fields are changing over the course of the growing season. And if there are specific time points where the variability is changing. And some of this variability that's changing can bring our attention to how we want to manage some of that variability potentially um, with like desiccation plans or in season with fungicide applications as well, for example. Um, I hope you found this video interesting. Thank you for your time. Please reach out to our team if you have any questions. Thank you.